Hello children of the universe and welcome back to my channel Makeup and Science. My name is Darkie and today I am going to discuss with you um, my most recent skincare journey. So my skin type is dry and probably dehydrated as well and aging. So I'm over 30 now. I'm 31 and a half. So when I started my skincare journey two years ago, my main goal was to help with the appearance of fine lines because I had quite a lot of sort of dead skin build up on my forehead and that was really affecting the way that my makeup sat on my skin. Now, more recently, I started having reactions on my skin. So I wanted to find a more gentler regime for my skincare that was also effective. So I'm going to start off with that and then I'll continue explaining my journey as we go. So I'm going to start off with showing you removing my makeup. So when I do wear makeup, what I do use is the Claire's Gentle Black Cleansing Oil. And that's a really great sort of first step with removing makeup facial routine. So the description says that this product is a daily fragrance-free oil cleanser. It is lightweight and has a non-oily finish. And yes, I can say that's true. It does not have an oily feeling at the end. And it is very good at breaking down heavy makeup. It also slightly breaks down my waterproof mascara, but I use something else for that. It effectively removes makeup, oil, dirt residue, and gently removes dead skin cells and controls sebum production. The ingredients include sunflower seed oil, grape seed oil, jojoba oil, and black currant oil. And these uh, help to moisturize the skin and balance the skin's water to oil level. And it is also rich in vitamin A, B, and C and contains strong antioxidants to help battle free radicals on your skin. So they recommend this product for combination and oily skin types. So it actually is quite I guess beneficial for oily skin types. I'm a dry skin type and it works fine on me as well. Now, as I said, I do like to use a different product for my waterproof makeup. So my favorite go-to is the Napoleon, oh, you can see I've nearly finished it. The Napoleon Do It Makeup Remover. I've never had anything work as good as this. I remember once I tried the micellar water. I, I don't understand the hype around micellar water because it does not work at all to break down waterproof makeup. No. Anywho, this, the smallest amount on a wet uh, cotton pad, leave it on the eyes and it just comes off gentle rubbing there's no scrubbing it and it doesn't leave residue like there's no panda eyes when you've got rid of it you got rid of it it's not like you wake up a few hours later and then you see panda eyes which i found with other waterproof makeup eye removers so napoleon's an australian brand um but Geez, I have not been able to get my hands on it. It's always out of stock. So I'm really hoping that I can find a replacement for this. Okay, now, now into my official normal everyday cleanser. I can use this morning and night. It is the low pH good morning cleanser by COSRX. So my whole gentle routine that I have commenced is from COSRX. Um, shout out to James Welsh for all his wonderful information and education on this brand and other brands that of course he speaks about. So this is my second bottle of it. So I did try this before I started this current routine. 
So the description on the website is the low pH good morning gel cleanser is made from highly beneficial tea tree oil that has been tested and proven to refine the skin. It is mild on the skin while still effectively removing excess oil and dead skin cells. It is guaranteed to make your skin feel soft, moist and refreshed without stripping it of its natural oils. Now, I know a lot of people are scared when they hear tea tree oil, or maybe you are a lover of it. Now, as I said, I have very dry skin. I use this cleanser all over my face, including the eyelids, and I have not had any dehydration, drying of the skin, or irritation from using this product. So if you are a sensitive skin type, if you have eczema, you should be safe to use this. And... What can I say? It's been working well. It's great. I love it. So just like as it says on the website, it contains tea tree oil, which refines the skin and has antibacterial properties, which will be good for acne sufferers. pH balancing, meaning it won't dry out or irritate your skin, which I can attest to. A mild formula for sensitive skin types and a gentle exfoliation by removing dead skin cells. Yes, my skin does feel very nice and smooth after using just the cleanser. Now, the next on my system is the COSRX AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. Now, I did just want something that was going to help with um, the congestion and texture of my skin as like an everyday use just because I do find if I'm not using something like an AHA and BHA my textured dry crepey skin comes back quite quickly and because when I started the, this routine I was not planning to introduce anything else I wanted to try something where it was just these basic um, gentle products and see how it went. Yes, I do like it. I think it works pretty decently. It does do, I guess, the what you, what you would would it does do what you expect from an everyday morning and night chemical peel because that's what it is. It's very gentle, so it really does just sort of remove that top layer and continue to work on that lower percentile at keeping your skin looking fresh and clean and bright and wonderful. So the description on the website says, combining the powers of AHAs and BHAs, the COSRX clarifying toner gently exfoliates the skin, removing dead skin cells and impurities. Perfect for oily combination and acne prone skin types. The COSRX AHA BHA toner will make a great addition to any Korean skincare routine. So the features and benefits are, is that it gently exfoliates, it removes dead skin cells and impurities, uh, controls excess oil and sebum, prevents further breakouts, which I am really in need lately because I did say that I am dry and dehydrated, but I keep having breakouts like this. This just keeps coming back all the time and here. So, you know, people would normally talk about being T-zone oily. That's not really me. Like I have one cyst that's just sitting there. It's not going, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there constantly. Um, I get blackheads, obviously, but like this routine is really keeping that under control. And I get like bumps and stuff there. It's more like milia. And then it's really just pimpling from here down and like under the chin a little bit but up there and I never ever ever had that until my second pregnancy you know 10 years ago I never had acne until I was pregnant with her then it went away when I was pregnant with my third pregnancy and then I got eczema after that and yeah now I have really dry dehydrated skin plus pustules and pimples and all that so yes this is fantastic for one clearing up and clarifying my 
dead dry skin and hopefully keeping the oil production down now where i can say that this is definitely working just on its own and not needing other products is my nose my nose is like silky smooth and it's really working well as an everyday chemical peel toner treatment thing now the exciting snail mucin products from cos rx the first thing we have is the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence so what does it do <laughs> okay so the short answer of what this does is it locks in moisture it is formulated with 96 percent snail secretion filtrate so pretty much this whole thing is the snail mucin uh, replenishes and revitalizes your skin for a healthier appearance brightens yes I have found that it has brightened my skin the pigmentation I was getting here which I don't really think is that much of Sun because it's an odd place to have Sun under you know inside the hollows of your cheek compared to the top of the cheek I believe it was mostly hyperpigmentation post acne and that has really helped brighten that up and also even under my eyes I've been finding I don't have that strong of like dark circles under my eyes since using these products which is awesome and actually quite um what's it called unexpected uh, so it brightens it plumps yes I am finding my face is plumping up a little bit. Good stuff. With consistent use of the COSRX Advanced Now 96 Mucin Power Essence, you may even experience reduced acne scarring, which, yes, it's happening. Reduced hyperpigmentation and overall improved skin complexion. It's working. I've been using it for at least a month every day. I'm starting to do it morning and night because before I used to only do nights and now I'm starting to do morning and night. Um, it is also free from any parabens, synthetic dyes and mineral oils. It's, it's time to provide your skin with nourishment and rejuvenation it deserves. Okay, now on to the last product which again is the snail mucin but it is the advanced snail 92 all-in-one cream does it have the texture of a cream no it has the texture of mucus <laughs> but you know what if it works it effing works so this is what it off like look at that that's what it looks like um, and I've gone through quite a bit. It doesn't really have much of a smell. It, um, not powdery. It just smells clean. You know that sort of just fresh, clean smell? Slightly pharmaceutical. It's nice. Anyway. Formulated with 92% snail secretion filtrate, this cream helps naturally create the appealing glow of healthy skin. Um, let's find the description for me to discuss that. Okay, so the description on the website says that it is hydrating and a lightweight formula. Tick, tick. It is very lightweight and it absorbs well into my skin. I mean, it takes a little bit of time, like it's just sitting there, but it's fine. Like, okay, so I did my face just before I started this video and... It's absorbed, like a little bit of tackiness, but it's fine. I don't, I don't care. Imparts a natural glow to the skin. Like I said, my skin is looking fresher. Can improve the appearance of scarring. Yep. Help soothe and repair sensitive skin. Yes, my eyelid is doing fantastic, but I'm going to touch more on that point in a moment. Promotes collagen production. I hope so because I'm losing a lot of subcutaneous fat and can repair the skin barrier. I'll just go with it, sure. Suitable for all skin types, especially sensitive skin types. Yes, I would say it 
does go with every skin type. There's no reason for it not to work with oily because it is not oily at all. It is just hydrating. It's just like pure moisture on the face. When I started this routine, I was also incorporating the ordinary. I was incorporating the hyaluronic um, acid at 2% plus BH5 and the niacinamide, the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. Now, another thing that James Welsh has mentioned before on his channel is how he was getting allergic reactions to this. He was getting redness and it was aggravating his rosacea. And also people complain of burning with this. Now, most of the time I don't, but if I use like a chemical peel and then I put this on, I'll feel it more. And then I put the moisturizer, I feel it even more. So... I stopped using these and I did not see a difference in hydration so I don't know if this was working at all because I didn't see it when I quit using it a reduction in my hydration or plumpiness or anything like that so one I'm pro I guess I eventually will use it up but I don't care for it anymore and then this I'm not going to use because I've sort of found a replacement so after like two weeks of using my facial routine with Cosrx and the ordinary I decided to get a hydrating mask to help just really increase that hydration because when I was seeing that crinkly effect on my face I was thinking oh maybe I'm just really dehydrated and I also got a spot treatment from Cosrx. I've got the Propolis Honey Overnight Mask and this has Propolis Extract, Butylene Glycol, Glycerin, Honey Extract. Honey is very good for healing properties and antibacterial, antioxidant properties. Royal Jelly Extract, which is from a plant. Uh, one, two, hexanidol water see water's pretty far down like usually water is the first or second ingredient in most products so for water to be so far down that's that's pretty good like this is quite intense then so betaine uh, acacia optocephalia seed extract carboma arginine Ethyl hexoglycerin, polyglycerin 10, myristate, and then etc. <laughs> okay, so this mask can be used as a sleeping mask, which is the way that I like to use it, um, a wash off mask, or a regular moisturizer. Um, I find this to stay on the skin and feel a bit too sticky to use as a normal like morning moisturizer but yes I use it overnight and sometimes I can still feel it on my skin if I've been like laying on my back I'll still feel it so with all the ingredients that it is infused with it is there to soothe and moisturize and pamper the skin I found almost immediate um, improvement of my skin after using it. I actually really do like it. So yeah, pretty much every night or every second night, um, I'll be using this. So then in combination of using the honey mask, I also take that opportunity to treat my acne or the pigmentation and stuff. So with that, I use the ultimate spot treatment from Cosrx. Now this is a very thick consistency and it sits on the spot really well. I'll even wake up and I'll still see this. Even if I've been laying on my face, it dries to the skin and pretty much you have to wash it off because yeah, it just dries down. 
So this is the description on the website. It says acne weakens and damages the skin and its barrier. This cream helps to return to its former condition quicker. This is a great product to have in your arsenal to fight acne as it soothes, strengthens, and calms the skin. It does. It, it, it's a really good spot treatment. So the benefits, it soothes and repairs skin, helps skin bounce back from acne quicker, targets redness, irritation, damaged skin, and scarring for a seamless recovery. So this will work great on an active, open, angry pimple or pustule or anything. That's how it work best. Right now I'm using it on pretty well healed skin, like there's no open skin there, but I still want to target it. And then I am putting it down here where well, there's a couple of open pimples. Also, which I've been finding great. So because I'm pretty much using this to replace the niacinamide, I really spread a thin layer all over my nose. So up to like where the larger pores stop. And I pretty much don't have blackheads anymore. Or at least I definitely can't get anything out of them. So I'm just leaving them alone. And yeah, this has been work, working really great to keep that smooth, silky nose. <laughs> So yes, I recommend these for dry and acne skin. I was going to discuss a little bit more about the eczema on my eye. I have also found since I stopped using the ordinary products, the eczema has gone away. So I have not had any itchiness at all. So when I was including the hyaluronic acid and the niacinamide, in my facial routine, even if I avoided the eye area, I was still getting an eczema reaction up there. Now, since I've removed it, and even when I put the products onto my eye area, because I want to hydrate my eye area, um, I have not been having a reaction at all. So I don't know why, I don't know when, because I wasn't even putting it on my eyes, that that was reacting. Like, it must migrate, you know, because your skin's porous and obviously, what's it called? Not osmosis. Sorry, can't think of word, but it will migrate through your skin channels. So I'm probably not going to go back to using that. Maybe I'll test it. Maybe I'll use it again and see if the eczema re comes back again. Um, but otherwise, that's another reason why I'm probably just going to ax it. Now, yes, the COSRX routine was working great, but I was looking a little bit crepey and I like needed just that oomph to get rid of that dead skin, that chemical peel feel that I really need. So I do have the Ordinaries AHA, BHA Red like serum peeler, um, which works great. And I also have their black salicylic mask, which I haven't brought into the room. I'll put a photo here for you. So instead, I thought, okay, I bought Alpha H range. And I thought they were the reason I was having skin reactions. And I literally had burns here and under and around my nose. And yeah, I, I just had chemical burns on my face. And I thought it was because of the Alpha H products. But since I've axed, I've sort of reset my skin using the COSRX. But since I axed the Ordinary's two serums, I'm not getting that burning sensation at all. So I'm going to walk through it quick, just quickly, just quickly. So Alpha H is an Australian brand as well. And this is the Liquid Gold Resurfacing Cleansing Cream. And it has glycolic and lactic acid in it, which are AHAs and BHAs. So straight off the bat, this is a very strong active routine. And I only do it probably twice a week, just that. Now, if you've got sensitive skin, maybe you just want to use this only and no other like chemical peel style product. 
this is my intense range. So I do the whole thing. <laughs> the next step is a micro cleanse super scrub with glycolic acid and peppermint. Now I know how people feel about peppermint. It should be reserved for feet only. Um, and it does have physical exfoliant in this as well. So this for as harsh as it sounds, actually is not as harsh as the uh, Ordinary's AHA, BHA chemical peel. Yeah, this feels intense because it does have that physical exfoliation, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I have it. I'm going to finish it. I've had it for almost a year and it's down to there. I do love it though, because like I said, my skin needs that deep scrub because I just get that buildup of dead skin and I hate that. Yeah, it's gross. And this is the stuff that made like makeup sit on my skin better because it was really infuriating me seeing all these crinkly lines in my makeup. This really works well. And I've been getting really close to the eye here because like I'm annoyed with this crinkliness and I've been getting really close with all my facial routines. And I've got to say it is looking better. That I had like chicken skin. Oh my God, it was so disgusting. <laughs> so I was getting really close in with all my products and it has gotten better in just a week. So very happy. The next in the routine is the mask and this is the Alpha H Liquid Gold Ultimate Perfecting Mask with Ferulic and Lactic Acids. Very, very tiny amount is used. So this is only 50 mils, very small. Um, and I've used maybe just over a third of it. And it says transform your skin in minutes with this firming, resurfacing and radiance boosting mask containing glycolic and lactic acid, soothing tasman pepper, replenishing shea butter and fission hydrate for long lasting hydration and a more luminous complexion. So this stays on the skin for 10 minutes. It slightly burns when putting it on. When something burns, it doesn't mean that it's burning your skin. It's generally because there's a change in the pH level and that is the sensation that you feel. Um, this is lovely. I do really like it. I do really like all of these products, but like I said, I'm only doing it twice a week because I don't want to get oversensitized again and you know get redness or actual chemical peels. So usually this would be the point where I put the serums on. And that's where I feel that intense burn using the Ordinary's niacinamide. Like, I, that's where the burn was coming from. It was literally going from a good chemical peel and then into this. And, oh my God, this is where the burn was coming from. Unbeknownst to me, stopped using it. Now I go in with the Clear Skin Daily Moisturizer, which also has glycolic acid in it. And it would just burn so much using the niacinamide before it. Stopped using the niacinamide. This did not burn going on. It might tingle a little bit, but it did not burn. And I got no redness and it just went soothing quite quickly. So this is a lightweight hydrating moisturizer that clarifies and assists in the natural renewal of skin. So that cell turnover of your skin that you want, containing 10% glycolic acid, soothing aloe vera and nature's antibacterials, eucalyptus and tea tree to leave the skin feeling fresh and clean whilst helping minimize the appearance of imperfections. So this whole range, one, removes dead skin cells. Two, increases cell turnover. Three, you know, strips the oils and impurities from blocked pores, etc. Acne is going to help um, shrink your pores, which isn't true. Your pores don't shrink, but it empties it out and tightens the skin. It helps with plumping the skin up and it helps with the scarring, the hyperpigmentation and all that funky stuff. If your skin can handle a strong sort of really intense regime, um, I would recommend it. 
And I, uh, I got it as like a set. No, I did not get it as a set. I slowly included everything together. But I enjoy it because, yes, my skin can take quite the uh, stripping. And now I also use the spot treatment with the cleanser. So not cleanser. With the moisturizer. So put the moisturizer on first, let that settle in, and then I'll go in and spot treat. And they work really great together because um, this moisturizer absorbs better into the skin compared to the overnight mask. Um, and yeah, I just wake up in the morning and my skin feels gloriously smooth and soft and bright and plump and beautiful and i am hoping to keep my skin looking and feeling this way for as long as possible because as you know we just keep aging <laughs> all right children of the universe that is my skincare video complete i will leave all links to products in the description box below and i hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was a little bit informative. I hope that it might help you with your skincare routine and you know leave a comment, ask questions, happy to chat. Um, oh yes and also let me know if anyone else is having negative reactions with the Ordinary's Niacinamide because apparently there are other people having negative reactions with it. Um, I'm just surprised that I became one of those people. Okay, so I hope you have a wonderful day, week, month, and year, and hopefully I'll see you next time on Makeup and Science. Bye!